So this right here is my 2024 Tesla Cybertruck. And unfortunately, I have some terrible news. And that is within 24 hours of purchasing it, this thing has officially bricked itself. Sort of. That is uh, at least the news article going around the media using my photo with a uh, what I consider to be a clearly made up story. So I'm going to read it to you here. And this has been picked up by all sorts of medias. I've been sent it on Instagram, uh, different Facebook groups, and it is a lie. So it says Tesla Cybertruck immediately dies in Canadian winter. Owner bricks the truck trying to use the defroster, says in love to heartbroken on the same day. So this has been posted by Torque News by somebody named Tinsay Argay. Um, caption, a brand new Cybertruck owner from Canada says his truck bricked itself as he was trying to defrost it. After the truck died in less than 24 hours, the Cybertruck owner says he went from being in love to heartbroken on the same day. The brand new Cybertruck owner from Alberta, Canada says his heart is broken after his truck completely fell apart less than 24 hours into ownership. I added that the Cybertruck bricked itself as I was attempting to defrost the truck before driving it. I shared the story on Tesla Cybertruck Canada group on Facebook and simply titled it Heartbroken. And this is what I wrote. I picked up my Cybertruck yesterday afternoon, drove two hours home, had a blast driving it last night with friends and family. This morning I defrosted it and drove to work. At lunchtime, the defrost did not engage, 46% battery left, would not go into driver reverse, and started giving me errors and warnings, and then shut right down. None of that's true. <laughs> and obviously, like I said, this has been picked up. It's been posted on multiple Facebook groups, multiple Instagram posts, and it is absolute bullshit from Tinsay Argay. Now, there has actually been multiple people uh, in the actual Tesla Facebook group that have said that this is not true, it's not been posted in there. And a few of them have even linked back to my video I posted asking, is the Cybertruck good in snow? And that's where obviously they took my picture and have been posting it from this article. The article goes on to say, this is not an ideal situation for a truck with a starting price of 166,000 in Canada. Um, and I continue to provide more details as follows, I spent the next four hours on the phone with Tesla service trying to revive it by boosting it. We did revive power and some things activated but others did not. Eventually, nothing worked, even with boosting. I went back to meet the tow truck driver and we were able to get some power with boosting again. Maybe it's because we boosted front frunk again and got it in some sort of emergency mode and was able to limp drive it onto a tow truck. So this right here is contradictory because it's saying that it didn't work, it bricked itself, then they were able to drive it. So that doesn't make sense right there. Now the article goes on to say, what's interesting here is that I only drove the Cybertruck for approximately two hours. However, I spent four hours trying to revive it. I don't know about you, but I'd be unhappy if I spent twice as much time trying to solve the issue with my brand new vehicle than the entire time I was able to drive it. As for what went wrong, I haven't received a definitive answer from Tesla, but he believes it has something to do with the truck's heating system. Uh, Tesla employs a heat pump on the Cybertruck to increase the heating and cooling efficiency. This is good for preserving battery power and range, but there are questions about how effective the system is in harsh environments. Whatever the cause, I'm not thrilled about the whole situation. And I went from in love to heartbroken on the same day. The article carries on to say, overall the Cybertruck appeals to be failing for the first tests in Canadian winter and at the same time breaking some hearts. Let me know what you think in the comments. Share your ideas by clicking the add new comment button below. Also visit our website, torquenews.com slash Tesla for regular updates. Well, Torque News, my thoughts are as follows. This article is bullshit, not true, and it's a complete fabrication. You guys have written a bullshit story that didn't exist for clicks and it has clearly worked. As for the Cybertruck, it runs great, it drives great, I've been driving it in the cold, I've been driving it in the snow and no issues with that. If you guys are interested in watching those videos, I'm going to link those in the video description below. I highly encourage you to check it out because 
This article on Torque News, it's not even misinformation, it's disinformation. It's a completely fabricated article. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's uh, fire the fire the Cybertruck up and I'll show you that it's not bricked and it does in fact drive. All right, about to get in my bricked Tesla. As you can see, door opens. Truck, lots of power. Put the key there to start it. And I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna put it in reverse first. And there we are going in reverse and throw it in drive and here we are driving so yeah definitely not a bricked cyber truck as torque news so eloquently put it throw it in drive and here we are driving so yeah definitely not a bricked cyber truck as Torque News so eloquently put it. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed my videos with the Cybertruck so far, including the delivery video, the testing it in snow, this little update about my bricked Cybertruck, and stick around for some more videos. We're gonna be doing uh, an off-road test, a little bit of a durability test, a full review of the Cybertruck, as well as uh, some other fun stuff. If there's anything specific you wanna see about the Cybertruck, let me know in the comments down below share this video, uh, particularly maybe send it to Torque News because uh, it's absolute bullshit what they wrote. All right, if you enjoyed this video, if you could do me a huge favor, click the like button down below, check out some of our other videos on the channel and be sure to subscribe. It literally takes one second and it helps our channel out grow immensely. I actually like that one the best. <laughs> the final one's the best.